Hey, 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 what up, guys? It's your boy, so Soul Joe, one back again with another Grand Theft Auto video. Alright, guys, so today I'm gonna show you three different methods on how you guys can teleport around the map in Grand Theft Auto 5 online. Alright, so first things first, you guys wanna go inside your interaction menu and you guys wanna scroll down to map blimp options and you guys wanna head to jobs and then make sure that all your jobs is set to show. All right, so that's the first step. Second step, we're gonna be showing you guys the teleportation glitch on where you guys turn off the controller. So go to your map, and you guys should notice that there's a whole bunch of blue icons on your map now, all right? So we can go teleport anywhere on a map where there's a blue icon. We are currently right here, all right, up there, Toledo Bay. And say if we want to teleport all the way across the map, all right, all the way down here to the ports. Go ahead and hover over a blue job, and you guys want to hit square on it, and then hit X. As soon as you guys hit square and then X, go ahead and disconnect your controller. However you guys do that, that's on you. All right, just make sure that you guys disconnect your controller. So go ahead and hit square, then X, and then quickly, immediately disconnect your controller. And then after you disconnect your controller, you guys are going to be on a black and yellow alert screen for about 40 to 50 seconds. After 50 seconds is up, you guys want to go ahead and reconnect your controller. Alright, so we're going to do that right now. Square, and then X, and then quickly disconnect the controller. Thirty to forty seconds is up. You guys should notice that you guys now have teleported. All right. So we are all the way down here at the ports now. All right. And we were all the way up here previously. So we just teleported all the way across the map. All right. So for the second method, we are going to show you guys on how to do this. Um. The easier and faster way so we're gonna go ahead and hit start we're gonna make sure that we are in a different targeting mode because we're gonna need to join off of somebody who is in a different targeting mode than what you currently are in all right so hit start go to online and then you guys want to go to creator and while we are in creator we're gonna make sure that we're going to set our setting to a different targeting mode than the person that we are joining off of. Alright, so from here, you guys want to hit start and creator. You guys want to go to settings. And you guys want to go to controls and then go to targeting mode. And you guys want to make sure that you guys set your targeting mode to assistant aim full. Alright, so make sure that is set on assistant aim full. Because we're going to be joining off with somebody who is sitting in a Titan of the Job invite only session like Anawak. We're going to join off of our buddy Anawak in a second. So once that's done, we're going to go ahead and back on out of here. And then go ahead and exit the GTA Online. Now that's going to put us into a whole new session. All right, so once you guys are back online, you guys wanna go ahead and hit start, go to the map, and say if you want to teleport to LS Customs, right? Or close by. We're gonna go ahead and hover over the job, and we're gonna hit square, hit X, and we're gonna let the job load on up.
Now, from here, once you guys are on this screen, on the lobby invite screen, you guys want to go ahead and join off of somebody who is in a different targeting mode as you, alright? So, in this case, we're going to join somebody who is in a free aim session. You guys can join off of Anawak. He's usually in a free aim session. You guys can uh, join him. I have all the profiles down in the description for you guys. Alright, so once you guys join somebody who is in a different targeting mode as you, you guys are going to get some alert screens. You guys want to accept the first one and then decline the second one. So hit X and then circle. And it should say there was a network error joining. Alright, so that way you guys can teleport. So there we are, we just teleported once again. And we're close by Alice customs all right all right guys so for the third method what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit start and we're gonna go ahead and look for a job that says players one through xxx meaning players and how many other players that can join the job we're gonna look for a job that says the number one all right so this job right here looks pretty oh, wait, good did that work so as you guys can notice that this job right here says players one through 30 meaning that you guys can go ahead and start this job up solo all right you guys don't need any other player to start this job on up so we're gonna go right ahead and hit square on this job and load this bad boy on up all right so what you guys want to do is wait until that loads all the way up you're gonna hear the three booms go ahead and confirm the settings go ahead and hit play start this job up on your own And then on this screen right here, where you guys have your race car, you guys want to go ahead and hit uh, circle to back on out and hit X to confirm. And as you guys notice, we now have teleported. All right. All right, so those are the three different methods on how to teleport in Grand Theft Auto 5 Online working for PS4, PS5, and Xbox. All right, and if you guys like today's video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and make sure you guys turn on all notifications. It's your boy, so fly, so Joe one, and I'm out of here. Peace.